So crazy. The coming event tonight, Jeremy Stevens vs. Dracar Close has been cancelled due to Dracar Close getting injured from the shove he took at the weigh-ins from Jeremy Stevens. Jeremy Stevens pushed him so hard that it injured Dracar Close so badly he could not even compete tonight. And a lot of people are wondering why this happened and how could it happen when a guy gets punched in the face he doesn't take that kind of damage but a shove does it. Well it's 100% logical that this can happen because number one you have to remember that Dracar Close just cut weight so he's not going to be full. His brain's going to have less fluid around it making it more susceptible to getting damaged as it sloshes around inside of his head and that is ultimately what the push does. They were both facing off with each other, and Jeremy Stevens shoved him out of nowhere when Jakar Close got close to his face. Stevens is a wild man. This is the stuff he just does. He's always had this intensity around him to where even Robert Whitaker is kind of scared of the guy. When he shoved Jakar Close, Close did not embrace for it. He did not expect it. His body was relaxed as well as after cutting a massive amount of weight. And because he's relaxed, his neck is going to be relaxed. And as you can see, when he gets pushed, there's a bit of a whiplash that happens with his head. And this is what ultimately probably caused some sort of injury. It wasn't a leg injury, an arm injury. It looked more to be some sort of concussion from the symptoms that Jakar Close has revealed after this happened. He said he instantly felt numbness in his hand and his neck tightened up. He said he was getting migraines and he felt nauseous the next day. He said he started vomiting. All of these are symptoms of a concussion. And if it is a concussion, it had to have happened because his head whiplashed from his neck being relaxed when he got pushed. When your head whiplashes like that, the brain sloshes around inside the skull, which causes damage to it. Ultimately, that is what is a concussion. It doesn't matter if it's a push, if it's a punch, if it's a kick. Concussions happen whenever your brain gets damaged by slamming into the walls of your skull. And because of the weight cut, again, there's no fluid around the brain that holds it in place. The weight cut is going to drain that fluid, ultimately making your brain a lot more vulnerable of getting damaged. If you want to know more about brain injuries and concussions and how blows actually cause a concussion, I highly recommend watching my video that I already covered on this in more detail. I'll leave the link in the comment section and in the description. This is most likely the reason why he may have gotten this concussion. And it's probably why he's not going to be able to compete for a little bit. And you can instantly see after the push that Jakar Close was very upset at something. He was like questioning why Jeremy Stevens pushed him, most likely because he felt something wrong with him right afterward. He might have felt that he got injured or something was off after that push. And this is going to show that this is not going to happen anymore. There's going to be enforcement, so the fighters probably don't even get face to face with each other. And they're probably going to be somewhere in arm's reach. So nothing like this happens ever again. We've seen many pushes and shoves happen at weigh-ins. Now we have someone who got injured from it. There's no way the UFC is going to risk doing this ever again, especially with pay-per-view cards. They're not going to be necessarily drained because they have the ceremonial weigh-ins, which is hours after they have their weight cut and they rehydrate. But still, man, you cannot put your hands on each other. This is a dumb way to ruin your own fight by pushing someone. You're going to fight the guy the next day. There's no point of pushing them. There's no point of putting your hands on them. But ultimately, that's just what it is. It was a big mistake from Jeremy Stevens. He's coming off multiple losses right now, and he needed this win coming up at division at 155. But for him to ruin his own fight, he has to be kicking himself for this. He went through the training camp. He paid all that money for the training camp. He's in a different space mentally coming into this. And even if the guy's talking a bunch of trash, I don't think losing out on potentially over $100,000 makes much sense to do. If I had an option to lose on $100,000, but I could put my hands on this guy because he talked trash, or wait a day and then punch him in the face, I'm gonna wait a day and punch him in the face and get that $100,000. I'm not going to push him here and now. But then again, Jeremy Stevens probably didn't think he would injure Dracar Close. It's a learning experience for everybody, and this is probably never going to happen again. So unfortunate, man. Oh, and uh, let's go Ben Askren.